Hey, I'm Maddie, and this is Screaming 101. Maddie's dead. And this is Jacqueline. And you know what we're doing today? I am learning how to be Maddie because I'm joining for today. Guest vocals. Yeah. Yeah, big announcement. I'm quitting for today, and Jacqueline from Stage Right Secrets is taking my place. He tried teaching me how to scream a couple days ago. Didn't go well. But he's going to teach me how to be him and how to do this whole stage presence. I'm going to give away all my secrets. Yup. This is, this is Stage Right Secrets. Although I think the most important secret is that it helps to be big and black. <laughs> what about a white short little five So five? What, whatever you can do to be a big black man. I mean, I can wear heels. <laughs> I, I can see me on <laughs> Yes. That could. I mean, that could help. That could help. Pre-performance, what do you do? Um... I, uh, I um, warm up, I try to warm up my whole range. Okay. So I do here. this, I, I go. Like that, you wanna, you wanna give that a shot? Not really, I can't even do that. You gotta give it a shot. No. Just go. Ooh. Like, a, like, a like a gorilla. <laughs> you nailed it, that's perfect. Yes, okay. Now go. Now join them together. Look at you! Yes. I don't know. Okay. Killing it. So warm up, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, and I stretch out mostly. See these stretches. Yeah, you know. Okay. Just various types of like. I feel like we're doing Pilates and squatting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like Thai bow stuff, you know. Yeah. You gotta touch your toes. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's okay. good. So we stretch. You limber. You ready? Yeah. I mean, and then once you get on stage, it's basically just a lot of like angry bossing people around move right now and what if they don't move they're not gonna listen to me you just say it again I, I mean you can't like stop the show okay. seriously and then also you gotta know this move it's like what goes what what you need to think is like I'm the king and this is my domain I feel like I'm in the lion king. these are all my subjects and they've gathered to hear to hear me say something okay and so you gotta put your like the Captain Morgan thing? Yeah, Captain Morgan, okay. The Captain pose? Yeah. And then you have to greet your subjects. Intimidating look or what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the power frown is the most important part. Do the power frown. I feel like I'm angry cat or grumpy cat. There it is. <laughs> That's a safe power frown. That's great. Okay. So, yeah. we got the facials. We got stretching. 90% of doing vocals is just the whole demeanor, you know. There's a few dudes on this tour that I could use as examples of the fact that you don't actually have to be a good vocalist to be the frontman of a band who is successful. True, True stuff. Hater. <laughs> Hater alert. So. Um, so. Now, but you, you need to do. Work, you do need to work on your vocals, though. Yeah. So why don't you give it like a good, like a, ow, ow. Come on, with more like, oomph. Oomph. with all of your. Oh. Hey, there you go. All right, now let's do it together so you don't get embarrassed. Okay. One, two, three. three. Ah. <laughs> Tricked her. That was sick, right? No. Ow. I sound like a baby tiger, a cat. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. No shame. So, you need. I need to know the lyrics, yeah. And you have bandmates around you, hyping you up, and then crowd. You get pretty intense with the crowd, and you get interactive. What do you do? Um, I mean, there's a few moves. It's like bounce. bounce. There's the bounce. Okay. Up and up. down. Okay. And the circle pit. Okay. And the um, this is the motion for I want you to crowd surf, but Warp okay. Tour won't let me say crowd surf, so I just have to say stuff like get up here, everybody up front, come okay. up here, get the mic, like that sort of thing. Crowd surfing, do's and don'ts. If you're about to crowd surf, yes. um, do crowd surf. Don't get hurt. Moshing 101. Never mosh before. I don't know. I'm safe on the stage. There's a barricade between me and the pit. I'm not trying to get hurt. Come on. I got a wife and like kids at home. Telling them circle pit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I want them to mosh. I don't want to. I don't want them to mosh on me Have though. Have you moshed before? Yeah. 
yeah. I've moshed. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I should wear a football helmet and yeah, and just like go pads for full. What, what, so what do I do? Like, just, like gear. Fling my limbs. Pretty much. Yeah. You want to give it a shot? Here, I can hold your mic. What do I do? Go for it. Just mosh. Here comes the breakdown. Move. Gina, come here. You're short. Yeah. Gina, come on. Maddie's gonna tell you to scream up while he's doing. Mosh. Okay. Gina. Let's together, okay? You better open up this pit. This is like a like girl fight. Yeah. It's getting real weird, you guys. Wait. This interview is taking a turn for the worst. Do people kick? Like, what do they do? I'm not gonna kick you. You guys need to do a mosh expose tomorrow during our set. Okay. Come and like document the various types of moves, okay. all the moves you see in the pit. Do you have anything on us? No, we're gonna lose things. Yeah, try to avoid things like jewelry, expensive electronics, you know. Okay. All those, all those kinds of things. And how did you start screaming? Uh, like this. <laughs> Why did you start screaming? Um, because I thought uh, that um, a static lullaby was cool. <laughs> Sick. You guys remember a static lullaby? Yeah. Yeah, that man yeah. was sweet. Okay, so they made you start screaming. Then yeah, well, I was playing band. drums at a punk band. Yeah. And we started listening to bands like Census Fail, Static Lullaby, and stuff like that. And then, um, and we were like, well, what if, what if we could get a guy that screamed? And so we all are sitting on my girlfriend's front porch when I was 16 and we all gave it a shot and I was the best one so I played drums and screamed for years and then I moved to just screaming. So what is your ultimate like duo you and who else screamo that you would love to do out with? Doing like or guest vocals in general. Yes. It, okay them doing guest vocals with me or me doing guest vocals with them? Whichever, Whichever you prefer. If I could get anybody, any dude in the world to come and do guest vocals with me, I would be pretty psyched if Ronnie Radke would come do guest vocals with me. Ronnie, what's up? I you guys are pros. Cool. Why aren't you? Well, it's, I know I haven't asked because it's like, it's like, I don't want to put him in an awkward situation when people ask me and I don't want to. I'm like, eh, but we're friends, but I'm kind of like, he's got other stuff going on. But maybe, uh, maybe also, um, I think Fred Durst would be a pretty cool one. That would be so sick. Like in Jacksonville on Warp Tour, if Fred Durst, because he's from there, if he showed up and just came out and did a song with me. Come on out, Florida. Fred. Yeah. Hey, Fred. I know you're like 65 now, but maybe you could just bring your walker out on stage and rock out with me, dude. Are you going to be rocking at 65? No. no. No? Uh-uh. I probably am not going to be, I didn't think I'd be rocking at 25. I sure didn't expect to be in a band that was like successful enough to do it full time for years. I thought we were going to do a few tours and hang out with, make some new friends and release an album and that would be it. But now we're like six albums in and seven, six albums in seven years Sold in. Out shows. Yeah. Main stage at Warp Tour. So we're kind of in uncharted territory now. I don't know what we're going to be doing in okay. 10 years. Okay.